Property Lim Brothers today is back with another episode of a landed home tour. We are very excited to be back in D15 today. Six bedrooms that is ready for you to move in. Stay tuned all the way as me and Adrian will share with you more about this inter-terrace along Bowman Gardens. So let's go. Here we are in this inter-terrace, so come on in as I share with you more about the specs of this beautiful house. In fact, this house was torn down and rebuilt back in 2012 and in fact, it got its TOP back then. This is a freehold status, land size of 1,554 square feet with a built-up of estimate 3,855 square feet. In terms of the plot width, we are looking at 6.1 meters width with a depth of 23.5 meters. It is of a very regular plot width for inter-terrace over here. In fact, the owners, they have last done their renovation five years back. They spend close to $300,000 in renovation. If you were to pull out the floor plan to have a look, you get six bedrooms of which five of them are en suites. You will have a very generous car porch that can fit in at least one big MPV. And of course, on the left side, there is also a wood decking that has been done up for your outdoor fresco dining options. Going into your living hall area, you will see a very spacious living hall that connects all the way to the dining area where it can actually fit in eight to 10 seaters. Moving forward, you will get your dry and your wet kitchen. But of course, on the left side of the dry kitchen, you do get the granny's room and also a bathroom that is just right beside and of course a yard area for you to dry your laundry. And one very unique characteristic about this project is that you do get a back gate that can let you access out to the back alley to the Frankel Avenue shop houses for you to pick up your groceries. Moving on to the second floor, you have a very generous sized master bedroom with their own walk-in closet and a master ensuite. And on the opposite end of the house, you do get two common bedrooms with their own ensuites as well. They are both of me image in sizes. Moving up to the third level, you are greeted with a very generous size family area that is fantastic for your families to gather after a meal. And of course, at the back, you do get another two common bedrooms that are of mirror image as well. You get a open roof terrace space for you to really chill out in the evening time. So all in all, this is a two and a half story inter terrace, freehold status, perfect for you to move in with your luggage because the house has been beautifully done up five years ago. Here where am I standing is actually the garage area or rather in a way the car porch area. As you drive in here, there's a sliding gate and once the gate opens, a vehicle can definitely park here with ease. On the left, this is where you can see that the owners has done up some Chennai wood decking. It's great because this is very high endurance in terms of weatherproof. They are able to age very gracefully together with the weather. Some nice plantations over here. If you want to convert this into a garden area, there's options for you to do that. The owners has done up a roof trellis that has extended three quarter of the front car porch. This gives a very good area for your guests to basically spill out for some alfresco dining or some barbecue activities over here. And in terms of orientation wise, main door plus the garage door, they are all facing towards the northeast orientation and on the back of the house, you do get southwest. All in all, it's great because you do get a little bit of morning sun that will come up on the right side over here to bring some warmth into your unit and thereafter, you will not be exposed to any evening sun. This is basically the main entrance and outside of this main entrance, you do get a four door panel for you to keep some of your shoes outside here. But of course, if you think that that's not enough, wait till you get into the main unit and you can see a suite of cabinets that has already been done up at the back as well for your shoes and storage options. Coming into this main living hall area, the moment you walk in, you will notice that the entire decor of this place is of a very modern feel because what you see is that on the flooring, these are all 60 cm slab marble floorings. This is where I've mentioned you get eight panels of storage options right on the left of the main entrance. You definitely have plenty of options inside the unit to keep some of your more valuable shoes options. On the right side over here, you can see that the owners have actually placed in a very big L-shaped sofa. This is great because this clearly shows the space of this living hall and the owners has done up a very nice cove lighting. In fact, this cassette aircon has already been installed. The owners have chose to do up a very simple TV cabinet for the uh, multimedia systems. On the back of the TV panel, you do get a very marble light -like finishing, which is very cinemas together with the flooring design of this unit. 
Not forgetting this very nice mirror finishing which actually enlarges the entire space the moment the main door is open. So on my left over here, this is also the housing for the home shelter because this unit was rebuilt in 2012 and as per SCDF requirement, there is a need to include a home shelter within the unit. So this is where they have designed the home shelter to tuck nicely underneath the staircase. Walking in further, of course, this is where you will enter in into the dining area. We have a eight-seater dining set that has been placed with a very nice chandelier light to accentuate the space. Some nice shelvings has been done up where you can find some storage options for you to keep some of your basic items. So once we walked in over here, this is where you will enter into the dry kitchen zoning. This dry kitchen zoning is very practical because you do get a island table, very functional, comes with storages on the left side, electrical charging point on the right side, and also a sink for you to do some simple washing. And also a little nook over here for your coffee machines and your water dispenser, a oven, and plenty of storages has been built as well. So you can clearly see that this house has been designed with the objective of allowing a household to come inside here for their items to be stored nicely within the cabinet so as not to have things spilling all over the house. I think that's a very great design. Before entering the wet kitchen, this is where you can find your first common bedroom which in our way, this is what we call the granny's room. If you do have parents that are staying with you and they do not really like to climb up the staircase to go up to the bedrooms on the upper level, this is the perfect room for them because you have a very spacious granny's room. So you notice that the room has been designed with plenty of cabinetry. This is actually a Murphy's bed. And we think this is actually a very great work because it allows you to have the option of a bed inside the room but having the option to store it away should you not use it. Definitely a very spacious room with AC has already been built in right here. Right beside this granny's room, this will be your first common bathroom. The towels that's been used inside this bathroom is of a darker team towel. You do get a WC, a vanity area and lots of storage options in the bathroom as well. You also have a very nice standing shower area with also a rain shower system that has already been installed. So let's touch on to the wet kitchen area. As you can see, there's a clear demarcation of zone between the kitchen and as well as also the rest of the other area of the house by clearly having a towel that has been done up. I think this is great because it allows you to have a very easy way to maintain the wet kitchen in terms of cleaning up after the cooking. In fact, the doors has also been done up as well. So should you want to keep your smell away from your main living area, you can definitely close this door for your heavy cooking. What we have over here is a very functional kitchen. You get a second oven that is by Braun. Lots of tabletop space for you to prepare your food. A tree burner system that has already been installed with a hood as well. All the cabinetries has been done by Bloom, which also of course includes soft closing as well. Plenty of storages on the top and bottom. You also have a little nook space for your microwave, which is great. So I would say that this is really a very functional kitchen. You do get a two big basin for your pots and your crockery as well. Should you not want to wash your own dish, don't worry, you do get a built-in dishwasher over here as well. At the back, this is where we are entering into the yard area. You have a washer and dryer area that's nicely stacked over here as well. You have a living helper that can actually accommodate themselves because you do get a room that you can clearly put in a single size bed in their own bathroom area. And of course, right over here, this is the back gate that opens up to the back alley. In fact, if you realize our unit, there's no party wall that basically separates you with another unit. You are more like a single loading fashion because you are not being connected by any of the unit at the back nor at the front. This is where we have mentioned the extra convenience for you to make a short run to the shop houses that just located right beside us. Speaking of shop houses, you may be wondering that, hey, will there be any, you know, fumes or noise or stuff like that? Not to worry because the immediate shop house unit that is facing our unit, that's actually a vet shop. There's no heavy cooking that is actually fronting towards your unit. The yard area has already been covered up so you know, in terms of wet weather, you don't have to worry about your laundry being wet. The owner has also done up an electrical clothes drying system that can actually be lowered and raised electronically, which is great as well. So all in all, you can see that the first floor is of a very practical design with clear demarcation of the zones from the living to the dining, dry kitchen, all the way to the wet kitchen, and then at the back to the yard area. Now, let's talk about the amenities around here as well as some of the pricing elements if you're looking for an inter-terrace in a Siglap area. If you're looking for some educational institutions around here, you'll be pleased to know that there are actually three primary schools within a one kilometers range. You have Nian Primary, Oprah Estate Primary, and St. Stephen's School. And if you are to extend the radius to two kilometers, you will have CHIJ Katong Primary, Head Girls Primary, Taunan School, as well as Telok Kurau Primary School. Some of the amenities around this area, you have cold storage, that 
that is within 7 minutes walk away from where we are, Kemangan Plaza, Tembling Centre and I12 Katong that has just been renovated and reopened late last year and of course a cluster of malls like your Parkway Parade and Katong Plaza. So now let's talk about the numbers comparisons for a inter-terrace in the D15 area. Whenever we do a comparison for a landed home, we always like to compare to the four different types of landed homes in the particular area itself. So for this unit over here, we are asking for a price of $4.98 million. This is a 1,544 square feet land size built up of 3,855 square feet. It's a freehold home. So if you are in the market for inter-terrace, what are your options that's available? First and foremost, if you are looking for a home, you are ready just to buy the land and you want to tear down and rebuild. It's going for about $3.5 million. Factoring in a rebuild cost of about $350 per square foot. Depending on the type of materials that you want to use, if you want to go for more premium materials, the price will go up north. But if you take a look at just an average amount that we are looking at $350 to build up to a similar size as ours of 3,855 square feet that will set you back to be about $1.4 million in terms of just a pure rebuild cost adding the cost of the rebuild together with the pricing that you'll be purchasing the land at you'll be looking at a price as close to $4.9 million that will be the first option the second option will be a house that is probably about 10 odd years or maybe even older but structurally sound you just have to do some a a work that will set you back to about $980,000 for a a a work adding that cost of unit over here that is going for close to $4 million, you have a price of a total of $4.98 million. Moving on to the last category of inter-terrace over here, which is a brand new from developer, you do have options of finding a new built one, but that will basically set you back to about $5.5 million for a brand new inter-terrace here in the C Club area. So looking at all the options that's available, our unit here that's asking for $4.98 million, we will basically force within the third category that is a nicely renovated unit that is ready for you to move in you do not have to spend your time rebuilding or doing some a and a work we think this is a great unit if you want to move in together with your family members with all the bedrooms intact as well as also the condition of the place that has been nicely renovated this is really perfect for those of you who want to move into the place right away in the c club area All right, so now that we are done with level one, I shall hand you over to Adrian. So over to you, Adrian. On level two, you have your master room and the other two common bedrooms, which is at the back, which we'll be showing you in a short while. The flooring for this level two is made of real solid, huge, long timber strips, and it makes it extremely uniform. Let's head into the highlight of this house, which is the master bedroom. This is a gigantic master bedroom. The orientation facing is northeast orientation over here. It doesn't get the west sun. Currently it's fitted with a queen bed, two sideboard, as well as seven panels of our wardrobe space. Four out of the seven is enclosed. Three panels that is made out of glass sea tube. This will be an excellent space for you to put your family photos, trophies. And if this section doesn't excite you, you should take a look at the walk-in closet right over here. As you enter, this will be the designated wardrobe space. It's 11 panels. There's also small closets of pull-out drawers and additional mirrors to check yourself. Let's check the master ensuite. This is a full-fledged marble flooring and the sink is raised up so that you can easily clean the flooring of the bathroom. I think it's very well taught. Rain shower is included as well as punch go hair kind of fixed thing. This will be the dresser area for the ladies. You can convert this into a valley desk as well. And towards the window, this is a nice cladded kind of wooden trimming. There's five panels of push-up windows. This gives you a lot of natural light and breeze. And so these two common bedrooms are pretty identical and symmetrical in shapes and configuration. Let me show you the right one first. As you enter, there is this bathroom. This will be the ensuite for this bedroom itself. It's done with mosaic trimming, comes with a rain shower as well. This bedroom is currently fitted with a super single bed, two huge wardrobe space and also study desk as well. Four push-out windows and it gives you natural light and breeze into this bedroom. We are going to the second common bedroom over here. Similarly, as you enter, the bathroom is over here, it's of a neutral tone. It's really very similar. You have a work desk, you also have a top cabinetries, two huge wardrobe space as well, super single bed, and also four push-up windows. I think the next owner will definitely love this uh, practical and functional layout. 
널 만나게 된다면 그냥 지나쳐줘 So here we are on the last level, which is the third level of this beautiful inter-terrace here. Where we are standing, this is actually the family area. I would say that this area is really like your secondary living hall where your family members can all retreat for a games night or some intermingling activities. The owner has done up some bookshelf that stores all their books collections and also a little work area. They have done some nice ID finishing to essentiate out the TV feature wall with this very nice framing. The back of this is done by wood panel. Of course, a great space for a very big TV. One more thing that they've done up over here is also a Haiku fan. This brand of fan is really great in terms of energy consumption. Right on this level, you get six panels of doors that you can close it up. On the outside, this is your roof terrace space. You can be outside here to chill with your family members. Privacy screens being done up as well. You'll be definitely overlooking into a very quiet neighborhood. So in the general direction, that will be towards the East Coast area. Those will be some of the high-rise condominiums that you'll find along the seaside area. On the other side, that will be actually be the Frankel Avenue. So all in all, you get good shelter. You can definitely mingle with your family members and your guests over here as well. Now let's go right into the bedrooms. Coming into these bedrooms over here, you get a very nice area for the bed. Wardrobe space has been provisioned on this part of the rooms. A study desk has been provisioned beside the window. So when your kids are studying, this is actually a very great area for them because you have a lot of light streaming into your bedrooms. Now let's move on to the next common bedrooms. Also of a similar design, just that the wardrobe now is actually a mirror image. Likewise, you do get a study area that has been provisioned over here. Two panels of windows, lots of lights to come inside here. I would say a very good ceiling height as well. So this is also a perfect bedroom for your kids. In this bathroom, they are all very functional. You get a rain shower system that has already been installed, standing shower area. Extra storages behind the mirror as well. I would say that this is really a very functional bathroom that you get on both these two common bedrooms. Even though District 15 is in the RCR region, it's close to East Coast Park with lots of amenities and a unique charm to its neighbourhood. We are located along Bowman Gardens, a road parallel to Frankel Avenue. If you are feeling hungry, there are many options just next door such as Dutch Colony Coffee, Six Letter Brunch and Wine Connection Cheese Bar. And if you are hosting friends, there's also Pepperoni Pizza, Barbecue Wholesale and some future developments that we can look forward to. We have the Thompson East Coast Line which will bring more accessibility to this stretch of Singapore. To reach Kamagan on the East West Line, it's 4 bus stops away and it takes about 8 minutes travel time. And 2 stops down, you'll reach Paliba Interchange on the Circle Line where you can get to the Business Centre at Macpherson, Ubi, Taising area. And as for future marine terrace on Thompson East Coast Line, expected TOP is in 2024 and it's just 3 bus stops away and 10 minutes travel time. Bayshore has also another exciting development coming up. Based on URA plan, this area is going to be a new hotspot for residential and lifestyle living. It is planned to be a car like pristine with the main street link up with restaurants, shops, childcare and elder care facilities. Being located 1 to 2 MRT stops away from Bayshore will mean that you get to enjoy the amenities and convenience but still get the exclusivity and serenity of the landed housing and cliff which is really the best of both worlds. If you are someone in the market looking for an inter-terrace home in Siglap area and without the hassle of rebuilding and renovating, I think this would be the perfect home for you because this is in District 15, freehold status, 6 bedroom and numerous amenities. Do give our listing managers a call and do remember to like and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok channel. I'm Adrian Lim, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show the place. Oh, I can't put it on this. I Rolling? 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 Yep. Okay, let's go. So over to you, Adrian. Hey, hey, hey. In fact, you... Okay. In fact, it will... <coughs>